The missing Fremont family was located over the weekend and police say the case is closed. But the public still has many questions. 13 on your side's Kelly Levin spoke to the city's police chief today and brings us those details tonight. After several days of investigations and searches from around the country, police say the case of the Cerigliano family has finally been resolved. What I can tell you right now is that they're safe and their family's working um, with them to, to help them out. After being reported missing in mid-October, Fremont police said detectives were able to contact all four members of the Cerigliano family in Stevens Point, Wisconsin, around 11 a.m. Sunday morning. When I, when I learned that, I really just breathed a sigh of relief, and I was glad that we were able to help them out. Authorities say the family may still believe someone is after them, but... They don't rise to the level of being taken into protective custody or anything like that, and no one's in, in, in a type of uh, a stressful environment. Chief Rodwell says he's impressed with how Stevens Point police have handled this situation. They took this call very seriously, and they've done some interviews and, and things like that. The 911 call was, was rather amb ambiguous in regards to 9-11 and other different types of, of governmental agencies. But all of the information was pretty ambiguous. Mm -hmm. And there is nothing to, to show that any of it is credible or that, you know, Tony still believes that. I really don't take any type of stock or uh, that, that anything that was said was credible. I think there, there, there was a, a nexus to uh, mental illness, but I really don't know what that could be. Rodwell says he was also impressed and glad to see the community's help to find the Ceriglianos, and now they're in the hands of their loved ones. I mean, we saw a lot of national interest and people worried about them, and I think, I really can't speak for the, Cer the Ceregliano family, but I think they're appreciative of that as well. Once we know as a, a law enforcement agency that everyone's okay, we, we, we kind of sign off on it, and it's really up to family members to to gather and, and make decisions on, on what's best. The family member that required full-time care and was left behind at the Cerigliano home is now being cared for by another family member, and police say they do not believe that the Ceriglianos meant any harm, but that instead it was a big misunderstanding. I do not foresee any criminal charges because nothing in the investigation would lend us to request charges with the prosecutor's office. Chief Rodwell added that they also haven't found anything criminal linked to the family and their days long disappearance. Um, I, I was just very, very happy that they're OK and, um, you know, we wish them the best. Reporting in Fremont, Keely Lovern, 13 on your side.